Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to CodeSignal to work on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist and you want to start from the first video on CodeSignal uh, Python exercises, go ahead and look at the description below and there will be a link that you can use. Otherwise I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to the Arcade. I'm going to Python. So are we in this section, Lambda Illusions, on the number 28 sort students. So we have to fill in the code where the ellipsis is here. You're given a list of students who want to apply to the internship at CodeSignal for the I student. You know their uh, full name, student I, which can consist of up to five words, where a word is a set of consecutive letters. It is guaranteed that the surname is always the last name of the student's full name. Your task is to sort the students lexiconographically alphabetically basically by their surnames. Surnames is uh, last name. If two students happen to have the same surname their order in the result should be the same as in the original list. Okay. So here's the example here you got John Smith, Jackie Mon Sinonoff, Lucy Smith, uh, Angela Zimanova. So then it should be sorted as such. So you got Jackie Monsinoff, whatever. Uh, John Smith, Lucy Smith, and then El, El Angela. Uh, I don't know why I tripped up on Angela. Um, Simonia. I'm not very good at work, uh, names apparently. Zim. O Nova, Simonova. Okay. So basically, they just want to sort by the last name here. So, and they've given us some code already. So they want to return students. So we have to modify students uh, so that it's already sorted uh, bit using this sort function. So using the sort function, you can, if you don't put in a key, it'll just sort by uh, how you would normally sort. So it sort by the first name uh, here uh, alphabetically. So we're going to put in a lambda function. So we're going to do lambda. Uh, so we have to give, after the lambda we have to give the variable names. Uh, I'm just, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it name. And then what do we want to do with name? What, what is the meat of the function? So with name, I'm going to split it. So split is a function that given a character, so in this case I'm going to do space, it's going to look for a space, and then it's going to split the string into a list uh, based on the number of spaces. So in this case it would split this into a, a list of two items, one John, and the second item Smith. In this case, it would split it into three items. So you'd have Jackie as the first item, Mon as the second item, and Simonoff as the third item. All right, let's. So we're splitting that, and then we're sorting by the last name. So we want the last item in the list after the split. So to do that, we do a negative one. Negative tells us. We're going to uh, slice it from the right to left, so it's going to take that last item because it's the first. If it's a negative two, then it would take the second to last item, so it would be John here, it would be Mon here, uh, and it would give you an error if there was only one item. Uh, so I think that's all we have to do. All right, and that is correct. So this was fairly easy one. We just have to know how to manipulate the text so we can split out this last uh, last word or last name, whatever it is, uh, after things have been separated by a space. Alright, hope you guys were able to follow along with that and I hope you join me for future videos. Thank you very much.